To our hostel room. Hello. Morning. Morning. Last night turned into a bit of a, a big night, but it was great to get to know everyone here at the hostel. We're meant to be going to the Benangle Caves, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, today, but we assumed we could go on a tour. Should thinking, never assume. Yeah, thinking they could go every day, but we've learned you should never assume things because they don't have a tour today. <laughs> Plan B, we're trying to book a car to get us there having issues because the car rentals don't open until three o'clock. We're gonna see how we go with that. So let's put out a bunch of ingredients in the morning for anyone who's on the surfing trip to make their own lunch because this hostel is a surfing school as well. So most people who stay here during the day, they would go out on the surfing trip. But unfortunately, we don't have enough days here to, um, to do that, but it would have been fun. But yeah, we can indulge in the uh, free lunches. Fiat. 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 But it's a manual. What's wrong with that? I'm not very good at driving manuals. Anything. Yes. <laughs> mm. Can you open it? No. Okay, so we're on the road. We had a little bit of a uh, <laughs> mix up. We, I mean, not a mix up. We had a little bit of a switch up because I hopped into the driver's seat and straight away I just started freaking out because I can't drive manual and it was a lot of pressure. The, lot, the only bit of manual driving I've ever done was in um, a car park in Ireland and they took two hours trying to teach me how to um, drive manual and I did it for a little bit but that's still two years ago. So Nate's driving and we are on the road going towards these caves. So I'm really excited that it worked out. It was um, 57 euro for the car, including insurance, for one day. So I thought that was a really good price. The tour we were going to do was 40 euro each. So really we've saved some money. Um, but I don't know what costs we might have to pay. Like I don't know if you have to pay to get into this um, place. Uh, I'm assuming that we're going to need to hire some paddle boards or yeah. something, so there might be an extra cost, but I mean, at the end of the day, it was one of our only options out here because an Uber out there was almost 50 euro anyway. Yeah, and there, then we and have then to come back. back. Yeah, so, but. so it's just such a, it gives you that bit of freedom having a rental car, and it also, not, it's a nice way to um, see a bit more of the area, so yeah, I'm glad we did it. Everything works out. Yeah. But anyway, so we're on the road and we're going to the caves and I'm so excited. Oh yeah, let me tell you. Place we're going to is called Benajal Caves, apparently. Benajal, or if you were just reading the sign and you didn't know how it was pronounced, it would be we you'd say Benajil. Yeah. yeah. So that's where we're going. We're going to Benajil, Benajil Caves. So you can't actually walk into them. You have to swim, or like you can kayak or paddleboard into them. Um, so that should be interesting. And last night at the, at the hostel, because it's a surf hostel, they're looking at the tides. And they were saying that today is going to be a three meter swell. So that hopefully won't affect us too much getting into the caves. I don't know, but we'll soon find out. Ready? Yep, let's go. So we're walking down to the, there's like a, I think you can view down the top of the caves. Like, there's like a beach inside the cave, isn't there? Yeah. And then there's like this hole right through the top, like a sunlight. There's a reason why we wanted to um, go by ourselves or do this other tour. There are heaps of other tours you could do, like on boats, but you're not allowed to get off the boat. So they just go in and then they let, let you see it, but you can't jump in the water or anything like that. So this way we can actually go right in and see it, I guess, swim in. Feels like we're in Australia. 
Yeah, it's real um, red dirt. It's like the Australian outback. And then you see the ocean. Yeah. Mm. Very small. Down there is a cave. Awesome. So the caves are right here, the entrance, and all these boats come in and, and view the, the cave from here. Our hope is to get out to here to the beach, and there we can either swim or paddleboard around. So there's a car park here and it's actually free to park um, and then there's a road just going down beside that, that's where we're walking down um, to the beach. We're going to swim to the cave, so this will be interesting. Here's Kat with a paddleboard coming to rescue me. And uh, I don't know how I was gonna get back because I'm a really bad swimmer, but Kat's a really good swimmer, so she's coming back to rescue me. for coming to rescue me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was pretty funny. I was, uh, I was so struggling so much coming over. Yeah. It's so powerful and crazy, like. I got dumped so bad just then coming in. I'm sure you guys see it. I think that three meter swell we're talking about makes it difficult. It just sucks back out. I was alright because I know Kat's a uh, good swimmer and a, a lifeguard, so <laughs> <laughs> she, she did all Baywatch for me and got all sandy, but. It's everywhere. <laughs> Really get out of here before it gets too big. Is this better? <laughs> oh, we're just taking the paddleboard back. I think we're pretty done with the um, this little beach. Nate's carrying it since I had to get it. Okay, we're back in the car. <laughs> yeah, I think for safety, best not to go when the swell's really high and there's a really strong current. We found that out after we dropped the um, paddleboard back when the um, shop owner was like, yeah, it's not a great day, so that. Yeah, what he said, there's a real strong current, and three meter swell, and he was recommending people not to take it out because it's just dangerous, um, but I think it was even more dangerous than we swam out at first, so. Yeah, so if we'd known that before we went and did the swim, we would have definitely got the paddle boards. But um, anyways, we, we're we all okay, we're fine, and like the cave was really, really cool and like pretty yeah. amazing, and there wasn't many people there, and 
yeah, we added to ourselves for quite a bit there at one point. Um, yeah, lucky cat came and put our cape on and saved the day. Swam back and got a paddle board. Come and save me. I've got to, I've got to improve my swimming, I think. Yeah, Nate needs to do some swimming lessons. <laughs> yeah. We're heading back to the hostel and then we're going to go get some dinner. We've got some reservations at uh, one of the places we're moving the other night. Shouting out to the guys at Stance Stand Up Paddleboard. So they are not the ones down at the beach, but they're just up the road a little bit towards the car park. And you were so helpful to me. And they carried you. They carried they the board. Yeah, they carried the board down to the um, water for me, and like they were just so helpful. And yeah, it was really, really nice. Um, nice. That's it for today. Yeah, we're gonna end oh, it there, yeah. guys. So we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to a new country, which is like really exciting. A new country. A new country. <laughs> Portugal's done, uh, which is like crazy. It feels like it went so quickly, but new country tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to Spain. We'll be both there being there, so another new country. So we will see you tomorrow, guys. Make sure you give us a like subscribe and hit that notification bell and we will see you tomorrow okay guys have a good one thanks for watching guys bye, bye.